Patagonia joins coalition suing to block Trump as federal land cuts. Outdoor company Patagonia is a part of a coalition that has filed a federal complaint against President Donald Trump to block cuts to protected lands, according to a company news release. On Monday, Trump announced a plan to reduce the 1.3 million acre Bears Ears National Monument by 85 percent and cut Grand Staircase Escalante's 1.9 million acres to half its size. The retail company took a stand that day by using its website to bring awareness to the cuts, putting the president's stole your land on its home page. The administration's unlawful actions betray our shared responsibility to protect iconic places for future generations and represent the largest elimination of protected land in American history, Patagonia President and CEO Rose Marcario said in a statement. We've fought to protect these places since we were founded and now we'll continue that fight in the courts. Yvonne Schwinard, Patagonia Air's billionaire founder, called the Trump administration evil in his defense of the lands. I think it is a shame that only 4% of American lands are national parks, Schwinard told CNN. Costa Rica has got 10%. Chile will now have way more parks than we have. We need more, not less. This government is evil, and I am not going to sit back and let evil win. While past presidents have reduced the size of national monuments, there is no legal precedent that establishes a president's authority to make such changes. In a May analysis, four legal scholars concluded Congress, not the president, has the sole legal power to rescind or weaken protections for monuments designated under the Antiquities Act of 1906. Sixteen presidents have used the Antiquities Act to designate 157 national monuments since 1906 to preserve our unique and treasured places from destruction, Patagonia said in a statement. President Trump's proclamation is the first time any president has attempted to abolish a monument established by a previous president and amounts to the largest elimination of protected areas in American history. Patagonia is joining a number of other plaintiffs in a complaint filed in Washington, D.C., on Wednesday, the company told HuffPost in a statement. The coalition consists of Patagonia Works, Utah in Bikya, Friends of Cedar Mesa, Archaeology Southwest, Conservation Lands Foundation, Access Fund, the Society for Vertebrate Paleontology and the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Other outdoor companies, such as North Face and Ray, have spoken out against Trump's reduction of the federal lands as well. North Face announced that the company would donate $100,000 to the nonprofit Friends of Cedar Mesa, one of the lawsuit plaintiffs, toward developing a Bears Ears Education Center. Beyond outdoor recreation. These lands are vitally important to the past and future of five Native American tribes that advocate tirelessly for their protection, North Face President Arnarns wrote in a quartz op-ed. Visitors to these places come face to face with 1,000-year-old cliff dwellings, ancient rock carvings and countless other signs that it was once home to a thriving civilization apart.